हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्निंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वर्किंग एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ बूस्ट कन्वर्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव सम इम्पोर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स रिलेटेड टू बूस्ट कन्वर्टर एंड वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू सी द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस बूस्ट कन्वर्टर सर्किट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो डेट यू कैन गेट मोर अपडेटेड वीडियोज फ्रॉम हियर नाउ लेटेस्ट क्विकली सी वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर फर्स्ट वन इज वर्किंग ऑफ बूस्ट कन्वर्टर सेकेंड वन इज रिपल इन इंडक्टर करेंट थर्ड वन इज एवरेज आउटपुट वोल्टेज एंड एवरेज आउटपुट करेंट फोर्थ वन इज रिपल इन कैपेसिटर वोल्टेज एंड फिफ्थ वन इज क्रिटिकल इंडक्टेंस एंड क्रिटिकल कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ बूस्ट कन्वर्टर नाउ लेट एस सी सम इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू बूस्ट कन्वर्टर इन बूस्ट कन्वर्टर पावर इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम लो वोल्टेज साइड टू हाई वोल्टेज साइड दैट मीन्स दिस बूस्ट कन्वर्टर स्टेप्स अप द आउटपुट वोल्टेज बट बूस्ट कन्वर्टर स्टेप्स डाउन द आउटपुट current that is load current in the boost converter the average output voltage is greater than the fixed dc input source voltage that is the average output voltage is represented by v not it will be greater than the input source voltage vs in the boost converter therefore it is called as boost convert because here the output voltage is getting boosted boost converter is also called as current to voltage converter due to the use of this inductor in the input side and a capacitor at the output side because of the presence of this inductor current produced in the input side and uh, because of the present of this capacitor the voltage across the capacitor will be applied to this load resistor therefore we can say that it is a current to voltage converter boost converter is called by three names first one is voltage boost converter because the average output voltage v not will be greater than the input dc voltage vs and it is also called as current buck converter because the load current i not will be smaller than the source current is here and it is also called as current to voltage converter because of the presence of the inductor in the input side and capacitor in the output side this is the circuit diagram of boost converter here you can see we are using a igbt that is insulated gate bipolar transistor as a switch in the igbt next is working of the boost converter when this switch s goes into the on condition it will act as short circuit or closed switch as you can see in the diagram as soon as it goes into the on state this inductor starts storing the energy because of the voltage across the inductor what happens this diode d goes into the off condition it will act as open circuit so during the on period of the switch s switch goes into the on condition and diode d goes into the off condition as soon as this as goes into the on condition it will act as short circuit and this inductor starts storing the energy initially we assume that this capacitor has a charge across it so this capacitor will provide voltage to this load because during the on period of the switch the source will be disconnected from the load therefore the voltage across the capacitor will provide the output voltage to the load during the on period of the switch so what are the conditions during the on period of the switch here you can see when this switch goes into the on condition when we apply kvl in this loop we will get the voltage across the inductor vl will be equal to the source voltage vs and the inductor current il will be equal to switch current isw here so this is the equation we are getting and here if we apply kcl at this node we will get the capacitor current will be equal to minus of load current i not because both current directions will be opposite to each other so we will get ic is equal to minus of i not diode current will be equal to zero during on period of the switch this inductor is storing the energy therefore the current through the inductor il will increase from i minimum to i maximum and voltage across the capacitor is providing voltage to this load therefore the voltage across the capacitor will decrease from vc maximum to vc minimum now when this switch goes into the off condition it will act as open circuit as you can see so in this state this inductor will release its energy when the inductor is releasing its energy polarity of the voltage across the inductor will be reversed that means minus on this point and plus on this point so because of this voltage across the inductor while releasing its energy this diode d will go into the on condition it will act as short circuit or closed switch as you can see in this diagram so during the off period of the switch this s switch goes into the off condition and diode d goes into the on condition due to which the source will be connected with the load now inductor will provide energy to the load as well as capacitor will charge due to the energy of this inductor therefore what are the conditions during the off period of the switch 
if we apply kvl in this loop what we will get vs plus vl minus v0 is equal to 0 so we will get vl is equal to minus of vs minus v0 let this be equation number 1 now when we apply kcl at this node number 1 what we will get inductor current il will be equal to capacitor current ic plus load current i0 so from this equation we will get capacitor current is equal to il minus i0 let this be equation number 2 the inductor is releasing its energy so the current through the inductor will decrease from il maximum to il minimum here and the voltage across the capacitor will increase because this capacitor will store energy during the off period of the switch so the capacitor voltage will increase from vc minimum to vc maximum now let us quickly see the output waveforms of this boost converter here we have drawn this is the input voltage vs and this is the load current i0 which we are taking constant here now during the on period of the switch when we apply gate pulse to the switch then it goes into the on condition during the on period of the switch what we have studied the inductor will store energy therefore the current through the inductor will increase from i minimum to i maximum and the voltage across the inductor vl will be equal to vs in this state the capacitor current will be equal to minus of i0 so this is the waveform now the capacitor voltage will decrease from maximum value to minimum value because it is imparting energy to the load therefore during the on period of the switch the capacitor voltage will decrease from vc maximum to vc minimum during the off period of the switch when the switch goes into the off condition inductor will re release its energy therefore the current through the inductor will decrease from i maximum value to i minimum value and the voltage across the inductor will be equal to minus of vs minus v naught this we have found out by kvl now the capacitor current will be equal to ic is equal to il minus i0 this also we have found out by kcl this waveform is same as the waveform for the inductor current il here during the off period of the switch and what is the condition of the voltage across the capacitor it will increase from vc minimum value to vc maximum value because in this condition the capacitor will charge itself next is analysis of boost converter first we are going to find out the ripple in inductor current del il so during the on period of the switch what happens this s switch goes to the on condition and diode d goes into the off condition and source will be disconnected from the load now when we apply kvl in this loop what we will get vl is equal to vs that is inductor voltage is equal to source voltage vs now we can write vl is equal to l dil by dt is equal to vs this il is the current through this inductor now this equation can be written like this this dil will be integrated from i minimum to i maximum because in this stage the inductor will store its energy so the current will increase from minimum value to maximum value and this dt will be integrated from 0 to t on because this is on period of the switch okay now after integrating we will get l into del il cos i maximum minus i minimum is equal to change in inductor current so we can write this value as l into del il is equal to after integrating here we get vs into t on so from this equation we will get del il is equal to vs into dt divided by l because we are putting t on is equal to dt in this equation now t can be written as 1 upon frequency so we will get final del il equation is equal to vs into d divided by f into l so this is the final equation for the ripple in inductor current next derivative derivation is average output voltage represented by v0 this we will find out during the off period of the switch during the off period of the switch s goes into the off condition and diode d will be go into the on condition the current through the inductor will decrease from i maximum value to i minimum value because the inductor is releasing its energy so when we apply kvl then we will get vs minus vl minus v0 is equal to 0 from this equation we will get vl is equal to vs minus v0 we can write this equation like this we are integrating this dil from i I maximum to i minimum because now the current is decreasing from maximum value to minimum value and this dt will be integrated from t on to t because this is off period of the switch okay now after integrating we will get this type of equation we will get i after integrating we will get i minimum minus i maximum which is equal to minus of del il so we'll get minus of l into del il is equal to vs minus v naught into t minus t on okay now we will put t on is equal to dt we will get this type of equation now we will put del il is equal to vs into dt divided by l 
this l and this l get cancel out this t and this t get cancel out and we will get minus of vs into d is equal to now we will multiply this whole thing into the bracket we will get vs minus vs into d minus v naught plus v naught into d now from this equation we will get v naught minus v naught into d is equal to vs here we can write this equation like this final average output voltage v naught will be equal to vs upon 1 minus d so from this equation we can see that voltage boosting is occurring in the boost converter next one is average load current represented by i naught for this we will take this equation pi is equal to p naught so for lossless conversion the input power will be equal to the output power input power equation is vs into is and output power equation is v naught into i naught now we can put the average value of output voltage equation here vs upon 1 minus d so we will get this type of equation this Vs and this Vs get cancelled out and final equation of average load current I0 will be equal to 1 minus D into source current Is. So from this equation we can see that current buck is occurring here that means current getting step down here in the boost converter. Next derivation is ripple in capacitor voltage del Vc for this we have to take the change in charge del Q. So we know that charge formula is Q is equal to C into V so from the here we can write del Q is equal to C into del Vc. Let this be equation number one and during the on period of the switch the time will be equal to T on and capacitor current will be equal to minus of I naught. This we have already taken out during the working of the boost converter. Now we can write this del Q as I naught into T on. So we are taking the change here. So we are taking plus I naught into T on. Let this be equation number 2. Now from equation number 1 and 2. That means we are equating this equation number 1 and 2. We will get I naught into T on is equal to C into del Vc. Here we can write this equation as del Vc is equal to I0 into T on by C. Now we will put T on is equal to DT and load current I0 is equal to V0 upon R. So we will get this type of equation. Okay, now we will put output voltage is equal to Vs upon 1 minus D. We will get this type of equation. Finally, del Vc will be equal to Vs into D divided by 1 minus D into R into C into F. So this is the final equation of ripple in capacitor voltage del Vc. Next, we are going to derive equations for critical inductance and critical capacitance of boost converter represented by LC and CC respectively. First we are going to see the definitions. First is critical inductance. Critical inductance is the value of the inductor below which the inductor current IL becomes discontinuous and above it inductor current will be continuous. So this critical inductance is the inductance above which the inductor current will be continuous and critical capacitance is the value of capacitor below which the capacitor voltage becomes discontinuous and above this value the capacitor voltage will be continuous in nature. Now we will derive the equation for critical inductance represented by LC. This is the waveform for the inductor current IL. So here we can see that we are taking the minimum value of inductor current I minimum is equal to 0. Whenever we find out the critical inductance value, we take this I minimum value equal to 0 because above this critical inductance value only inductor current will be continuous and below this the inductor current will be discontinuous. So in this way, we have to take the waveform for finding out the critical inductance to see the discontinuity in the inductor current. When the inductor current is discontinuous, the minimum value will be equal to 0. We cannot get the finite value here when the inductor current is discontinuous. Therefore, we can take I minimum is equal to 0 while finding the critical inductance LC. So now from this graph, we can see that the average value of the inductor current is taken as IL here. IL will be equal to del IL by 2. Now from the circuit diagram, we can see that the inductor current will be equal to source current. So we can write IS is equal to del IL by 2. Now we will put IS is equal to I0 upon 1 minus D. This we have derived just now. And we have also found out del IL which is ripple inductor current is equal to Vs into D divided by F into L. Now we will put these equations in this equation. We will get this type of equation. In this equation, the load current I0 can be written as V0 upon R. So we will get this type of equation. Now we will put V0 is equal to Vs upon 1 minus D. We will get this type of equation. So final equation for the critical inductance LC will be equal to dr into 1 minus d whole square divided by 
2f next is critical capacitance represented by cc this is the waveform for the capacitor voltage vc so here you can see del vc can be written as 2v0 this is the total change in the capacitor voltage which is given by del vc and the average value of this del vc will be equal to load voltage v0 so we can write del vc is equal to 2 into v0 here now we will put the equation of del vc and output voltage v0 we will get this type of equation and uh, from here we can see that this vs and this vs get cancel out this 1 minus d and this 1 minus d get cancel out and what we will get the critical capacitance cc will be equal to d upon 2 into rf okay so this is the final equation of the critical capacitance so hope you have understood the topic thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe my channel for more updates